I paddled out on a day when the boulders were banging against each other on the on the on the rocks at a place called Rincon, which means point in Spanish, in the coast of California. And I thought, okay, it's still, it's just waves. I can dive under it. They're going to splash on me. I'm still going to be okay. I paddled for 45 minutes and I could never get out. And then finally, I seemed to have my breakthrough. I was out beyond the breakers when the cleanup set came. And I realized I was right in the middle of the impact zone. They were going to break right on top of me. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. When I was a kid, I'd tell my parents, let's go to the beach, let's go to the beach. And they go, we'll go to the, de- the dunes. And I go, no, I don't like the waves there. They're sketchy. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So that's so where you I went. Am, here I am, ignorant of all of that. And one of one of my uh, classmates, my peers, said, "Hey, John, you want to go boogie boarding?" And I'm like, "I don't even know what that is, right?" I'm like, "What do you?" Because I, I grew up kind of kind of hood, kind of ghetto, so I'm thinking boogie, right? But let's boogie, yeah, right? Let's and, boogie. Uh, yeah, let's boogie. Yeah, let's boogie. And he was like, "No, it's like it's like surfing, only it isn't." And I'm like, "I'm confused." And then he said he said these words to me, "What are you scared?" And immediately, <laughs> I'm like looking around at who's looking at me and my Hold response. Hold my I'm beer like, and watch this. That's right. Exactly. I'm like, I'm not scared. Give me that boogie so, board. You know, uh, me and my two older siblings in particular, right, we, we kind of subscribe to what the world said would get rid of all that pain, right? So when you're – anybody who's ever dealt with alcoholism, raised in an alcoholic environment, knows the, the trauma, the tribulation, the uh, anxiety-ridden environment that you're always on eggshells. You never know what's going to happen in a given day. Um, you know, it's like a bear coming home every single day, right? That's you don't know what to expect. You don't know what to expect. So that was a lot of my upbringing, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of worry. And we honestly subscribe to the, the wayward life, to self-medication in the sense of just, you know, partying and all those things that the world says will, will, will make the pain go away. And um, at that moment that I just described to you in my junior year, What's it, it began, I think, that that wooing back. But I wish it was that monumental moment. It wasn't. But it was that that moment, that actual Christmas Eve of that same year, Bear, um, uh, my father came home drunk and had an altercation with my two older brothers and, and tried to shoot me and my two older brothers. So on Christmas Eve of my senior year in high school, I became homeless. Um, you know, we left. I mean, that was just it was very a, a crazy that that moment when you encounter the waves the ocean of craziness right, right um was very uh, when i reflect back of course right i look back that that was really a tell of my life at that moment that i was being consumed by a water of of the world i was being, being drowned oh, i was being drowned there was no faith in my life there's riptides right? there's was, there was yep. every current pulling you away when yeah. you say we left who's we and where did you go uh, me and my two older brothers in particular, because that's who the really? altercation was with. Yeah, so we really? left and we all, we all kind of just tried to, we were transitional homeless, trying to live with friends here and there. Um, you know, uh, just, I mean, we were running the streets. I mean, we, we really at that point had, uh, I, I was gracious or I was grateful enough and fortunate enough to where I had finally a, a friend of the family whose parents took me in for that last, wow. Man, last what a, uh, semester of my senior year. What an incredible thing. So you, the three of you, the brothers. I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.